guys, it's Josiah Mario. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys seven questions you should ask yourself before you start your business. So let's get into it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, well... Who are you to tell me what questions I should ask myself when I'm starting my own business? Well, let me tell you. Um, besides Josiah Mario, I'm known as JoJo, Josiah, just Josiah, a lot of other things. But I have an online platform where I have a YouTube channel and it has many different shows on it. I interview people. I, you know, I just do a lot of stuff. Oprah was my inspiration when starting that. And I started that when I was nine years old as a result of me talking a lot. If you know me personally, you know I talk a lot. And I used to get in trouble in school because of that. I wasn't a bad kid behavior-wise. I just used to talk, talk, and talk. Constantly getting yellows in my agenda. Y'all know how that goes. Um, but yeah, so that is my first business. And then my second business is a vegan cosmetic line where my mission is to empower girls to shine from within. Not only do I make vegan cosmetics such as lip gloss, lip balm, and lip scrubs, and more to come soon, I empower girls to shine from within because, um, you know, today's society shows what a woman should be, how a woman should look. And that's not really true. People have set so many beauty standards and, you know, it's just like everyone is beautiful in their own way. So we shouldn't have to feel like we girls shouldn't have to feel like we have to own up to that and, you know, be that. I don't want girls to feel like they have to look a certain way to be confident. I'm teaching girls to be confident and shine from within because real beauty comes from within. Did I say real booty? Real beauty comes from within. So yeah, that's how I'm able to give you guys these seven questions to ask yourself because I had to ask myself these questions in order to have two successful businesses. And these questions help me get to where I am today, so I want to help you guys get to where you want to be. And this is the first place to start. You got to get a blueprint, and today we're going to make that blueprint. So let's get into it. The first question you should ask yourself is, do I see myself doing this years from now? This is probably like the most important question because you don't want to put in all this work into starting this business if you're not going to keep it going. Question number two is, will my business continue to be relevant? This is also another, actually all these questions are important, that's why there's only seven. I could ask, tell you guys a hundred questions to ask yourself, but these are the main ones that you need to build your business foundation on. This is the foundation that you need to build your business on. I had to fix that. Um, so yes, will my business continue to be relevant? Meaning like, okay, for example, you know, when, when was this, like fifth grade? When I was in like fifth grade, we used to make those rubber band bracelets. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I wanted to make a business out of that because I just knew, oh, mom, this will sell good. But my mom did not let me, and I'm so glad that she didn't because where are rubber band bracelets now? Dead. I still have a few that I made, but nobody makes them and wears them as much as we used to when we were younger. So that means, is your business going to be relevant? Are you going to do something that is going to be around for a good long time? Or are you going to do something that's going to be around for a few months, maybe a year? Like fidget spinners. A lot of people made fidget spinner businesses. Where are they now? Unheard of. One hit wonder. Haven't heard about them in a long time. You don't want your business to be like that. You want to make sure people are going to constantly be coming to you no matter what. The third thing that you need to ask yourself is will I be able to upkeep my business? Woo! Child. Let me tell y'all. I was so blessed that my mom is a digital marketing strategist. She's a graphic designer. My, my mom built my website and it's amazing. You should check it out. Link will be down below. My mom's literally the bomb.com. Are you going to be able to do what you need to do for it? Are you going to be able to promote it like you need to? Are you going to be able to get sales like you need to? Are you going to be able to replenish your products like you need to? Are you going to be able to? Or services. Because I don't know what you guys want to do. 
are you going to be able to, you know, upkeep it? You know, you don't want to just do it and then let it deteriorate and then just sit there, a business page, and nothing has been posted in months. So you guys want to make sure that you are going to be able to upkeep your business. So don't start it on something. If you know you don't have the time to right now, if you don't have the capacity, none of that. Don't start something if you know that you can't upkeep it like you need to. Because you don't want to start a business and then it just goes to waste. That would be a waste of your time and a waste of business and a waste of ideas. On to number four. The fourth one is who is my target audience? This is another big one. Let me tell y'all why. Because a lot of people say, oh, I want everybody to buy my product. I want everybody to buy my No. Your target audience, I was going to say target market, same difference. Your target audience is a specific group of people. My target audience for my cosmetic line is girls 12 to 18. I market all of my stuff, I brand all my stuff, I make all my stuff appealing to 12 and 18 year olds, 12 through 18 year olds, you know. Um, I don't really use dull colors because you know that doesn't catch 12 to 18 year old kids attention. I use my colors, blue and white, kind of the teal that's on my wall. If y'all can't tell I love that color, y'all gonna see this as y'all learn me more through this channel. But yes, I love teal. That's my favorite color. And also a hot pink. Those are my main colors that I use to brand. I use others, but those are the main ones that people know me by. And this is my logo. And that is exactly what you want. You want a logo that's going to catch someone's attention. You want a logo that is going to have people asking questions. You want something that is going to catch people's attention. So make sure you know who your target market is. It's not everyone. It never will be everyone. You need to market your business to a specific person. A specific group. Now, while everyone can buy your product, your target market will not be everyone. Your target audience will not be everyone. Because, like I said, you need to know who you need to market to, how you need to brand your business, and how you need to make it look so that way your target mod target audience will buy it. So, yeah, that's the question you need to make sure you have in your head. Number five, how will I promote my business? This is also another big one. Actually, why do I keep saying that? They all big. That's why it's only seven. Like, Urgh. They're all big, Josiah. Anyways, back to it. Number five, will I be able to promote my business? Yes, you need to be able to promote it. Because if, you if you're not able to promote it, how are you going to get sales? How are you going to get engagement? How are you going to get customers? How are you going to get a following? You can't just, you know, make a business and then, you know, throw it out there and expect people to come to you. No, you have to sell yourself to your audience. While you want them to buy your product, you also have to sell yourself. Sell yourself, hun. i I'm not talking about prostitution. I'm talking about you have to make sure that you are showing people the real you. People love seeing the real you love. They love it. Show behind the scenes. Show, show you doing your TikTok. Show you being goofy. People love that. They don't always just want to see business, business, business. If you're a teen or if you're anyone, you know, business, business, business gets boring at times. Sometimes when you throw a little fun in there, you know, a little sprinkle. And another thing, you also don't want to always be all product, product, product. You want to be able to engage with your followers and your customers and, you know, a respectful way. You don't want to just, every time you post, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. No, you don't want it to be like that. You want it to be, you know, hey, how are you guys? Let me know what you guys are doing this week. Hey, how was your day? Hey, what's your favorite food? You know, engage with them. Even if it's just simple questions like that, make sure you engage with your audience. Respect goes a long way. Even if someone does not even care about your product, um, they will still probably purchase for, you know, their granddaughter, daughter, niece, all that. Because how you brand yourself, that is the most... Branding yourself is really what is the icing on business. You know, people say icing on the cake. No, icing on the business, you know. 
this is what is going to sell get you sold you know get you sales get you money or get whatever you're trying to get and uh, don't get me wrong now the business is not all about money because like i said my mission is to empower girls to shine from within that's my main thing because i struggled with confidence for a long time and you know i was able to you know find other people that have you know helped me become confident in myself so that way i've become confident in myself so now i want to pass it forward and help other girls become confident like others helped me so yeah number six what are the startup costs y'all this one this one is very important like i keep saying that you know they're all important but like this one is for real for real important because you have to be able to brand your business how you want people to see your business. If you want your, peop your people to take your business seriously, you're going to have to brand it seriously. You're going to have to, you know, make sure that you have the right money and, you know, the right stuff. So that way you can make your business how you want people to see you. Whatever you sell, whether it's lashes, lip gloss, jewelry, clothing, make sure you have what you need to have to start your business you don't want to start your business on low income i mean well it's okay if you started on low income but make sure you have enough and then enough to replenish number seven what makes my business idea different from others oh y'all i'm finna take my mom's one of my mom's things that she always uses all the time take bread for instance there, when you walk down the bread aisle, how many how many breads, different types of breads are there? Let me, let me just put a picture right here for a moment. Y'all see that? They all sell the same thing. The same exact thing. Now, some of the bread tastes different. Some of the bread looks different. The package is different. But at the same time, what do you buy? The bread that you always buy, right? It's simple. What makes my business different from other lip gloss businesses? I empower girls to shine from within. So not only am I selling my products, I'm actually um, pouring back into my customers. Like, yeah, and like I said, this is also a thing. I I struggle with this. Confidence was something that I struggled with for a long time. I want to help other girls come out of that hole where they have to feel like they're not enough. You know, because of how society makes women look. You got to have that nice cold bottle, red bone. Like, no, 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 honey, I got a belly and I got jelly. You hear me? It's about what shines from within you. Ooh. It's about what shines from within. So that's what I'm empowering girls to do. And it's not all about guys, girls. Girls, I want you to love yourself before you even try to love a guy. So, yeah, guys, that is the seven plus a few other questions that I added in there that you need to ask yourself. And I also added some tips in there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and be yourself. Bye, guys.